afternoon, good night, whenever you are watching this. Welcome to Mentor Mornings, my friends, where I share wisdom from people far wiser than myself to help you own your day and fuel your journey because life is a journey. And we are seeing some interesting things happen, are we not? If you could see the superstar podcaster, Joe Rogan, host a conversation slash debate with presidential nominee Joe Biden and President Donald Trump, is that something that you would want to see? In a conversation between Joe Rogan and Tim Kennedy, uh, the founder of Sheepdog Response and a former UFC fighter, they were having a conversation about uh, hosting a debate between the two presidential candidates. Hey, can you, would you do a debate? Would I? Yeah, if, if like, another problem I have with- If I had to do a debate? No, no, not, not you debating somebody. Um, oh, I'd prepare like a mother. I know you would. You'd be fun to watch. But um, you be the control mechanism to the candidates, like a Biden-Trump debate with Joe Rogan hosting. Mm. Your questions. I would want that. First of all, I'd want no one else in the room. I ju I just, just the, the three people? Of us. Cameras so we we can record with the truth. Like, yeah, just the three of us. And you would have to stream it live so no one can edit it. Nope. And I would want them in there for hours ideas we get to hear yeah. what they actually believe in yeah. what they're going to do who they're going to appoint yeah. what judges are going to be coming in what policies from gun control to yes all of it yes can't, why, why can't we right. have that we should have that this is 2020 i mean we have the ability to have that this is, this is, we're not talking about 1979 <laughs> we're talking about 2020 if they wanted to do that they both wanted to come here in austin sit down and have a debate i would 100 percent do it my god I would 100% do it. It'd be amazing. It would be the best way to find out, but I don't think that Biden can handle it. I, just, I think Biden is like, I think he's, I mean, people get mad at me for saying this. I think there's something wrong, and I don't think there's something wrong because I'm guessing or because I'm pro Trump. I've seen him fall apart. I think yeah. I've seen him start talking. Not, he's had multiple brain surgeries. Yeah. This, this, this is him saying. So, in it, Rogan laid out a few great points. First of all, it's 2020. There's no reason why we can't see a conversation or a debate between two presidential candidates live stream. And when I look at the Twitter comments that are pouring in on Tim Kennedy's post, asking if this is something that we wanted to see, you can see that the Biden supporters are freaking out. They're freaking out right now because I don't think that they want to see this happen. And a lot of them are pointing to the fact that Joe Rogan is an entertainer. He is not a presidential host for debate. He's not a journalist. And yet, at the same time, Joe Rogan has roughly over 190 million views a month for his conversations that he has with people, making him one of the most prolific and most watched and influential hosts on the planet today. A lot of people have pointed out Joe Rogan's character and saying that, well, he's pro-Trump. And on the contrary, Rogan has always maintained a pretty neutral perspective as far as that goes, at least what he talks about in his podcast. He shows support for Bernie Sanders. He shows support for Tulsi Gabbard. So he is very open-minded. And he has said that he would place his vote in for Trump over Biden, is that something that should deny him the ability to host a neutral debate between the two presidential candidates? Rogan pointed out that he's concerned about Biden's ability to perform a three to four hour long debate uh, on live, live streaming. And this isn't because of Rogan's um, sway or perspective, it's because he's concerned about Biden's ability to be able to speak on camera for that long. Biden's been underneath a lot of scrutiny lately because he's been caught reading from teleprompters and looking at notes when he is uh, being interviewed or talking with people. And the other thing is, is he's been, he hasn't been taking questions at his live presentations. Would there be a fair and balanced debate between uh, President Trump and Biden? Probably not. I mean, anyone with eyes open enough to see uh, can watch Biden and know that he is suffering from cognitive decline. There's no doubt. And so it leaves us wondering, what were they thinking putting him inside of this position? So up until now, Biden has not responded 
to the request for a debate with Rogan as a host. Yet Trump almost immediately responded with an I do to Tim Kennedy's Twitter post asking who wanted to see this debate happen. So Trump is on board. We're just waiting to see if Biden will respond. So what are we expecting to see? The reality is, my friends, is Biden is probably looking for a way out. And I'm sure that his handlers are probably looking for a way out as well. And they have to do this gracefully. So how are they going to do it? Most likely it's going to be by debasing and degrading President Trump and the worthiness of having a conversation. And my friends, we're already seeing it. Large media organizations like Forbes have come out and said that nominee Biden shouldn't even debate President Trump. Their reasoning is because it would give Trump an advantage. No kidding. Uh, Nancy Pelosi has come out and said that Joe Biden should not debate Trump, that he is not worthy of the dignity of having a conversation with. I wouldn't, I wouldn't legitimize a conversation with him, nor a debate in terms of the presidency of the United States. So I, I think that he'll probably act in a way that is beneath the dignity of the presidency. He does that every day. Uh, but I think he will also belittle what the debates are supposed to be about. If a leader cannot convince me through debate, through conversation, with somebody on the opposing side that his ideas or beliefs are worth listening to, then he is not capable of being a leader of the country that I love called America. Being a leader means that you step up and you do the hard stuff. You put yourself in those difficult situations. And so far, Biden hasn't shown himself to be that man. So a question for you, my friends, please leave a comment down below. Is a debate between President Trump and Joe Biden hosted by Rogan something that you would want to see? Why? or why not? Let me know down below. I would love to see what your guys' ideas are. And if you appreciate this video, could you please hit the thumbs up button? Share if you feel is worthwhile. Subscribe, my friends, if you are not already. And I will see you tomorrow on Mentor Mornings. Until then, rise unconquered, my friends.